What's up YouTube, this is Felix bringing you a getting started guide for my 3D ASCII engine available soon to my Kickstarter backers and anyone else with 10 bucks to spare. In this video I'll show you how to get started making your own games using my API. Since this is not a Java or Eclipse tutorial, I'm going to assume you already know advanced Java and the workings of your preferred environment. I'll just show you the methods and objects you'll need to get started making your own 3D ASCII game. We'll start by creating a project, package, and main class file. Then you'll need to put the jar file in your reference libraries. Next step is creating your first level. Create a class and call it my level and make it extend level. Once you've done that, you'll need to implement two methods, build level and update. Build level calls once when your level is created and places objects in the level. Update runs every 20th of a second and can be used to update the level. Before we implement these methods, we'll go back to our main class and use ASCII 3D. ASCII 3D dot start game using the title we want for the window and a new instance of my level. Now when we run our program, we get a black screen. This is actually the level, but the level doesn't have anything in it yet. So going back to our level, we'll add stars. We can also add clouds, and let's run it again. So now it's beginning to look a little bit more like a level. Next, we'll add a collider obstacle for the player to jump on. Use new collider, new box generator. and the player is currently trapped inside of the collider, so we'll move it over a little bit. I accidentally placed it underground. As you can see, the player can collide with this object and jump on top of it. Unfortunately, this engine only supports rectangular prism or cube colliders and does not support rotation of the collider. So if you rotate it 45 degrees, it won't make a difference in how the player collides with it. Next, let's add a tree to the level. Use new object 3D, new tree generator and tree generator has a bunch of weird settings for it. I think that I use 2, 4, 90, false, and 0.1 to make a pretty tree. I'll we'll have to import tree generator and object 3D. So these values represent 
the amount of trunks, branches, how much the branch is spread, the boolean is if the tree has vines hanging from it or not, and then the last value is the scale. And now we have a tree. The tree is randomly generated, so it'll look a little bit different every time. The player does not collide with trees, but you can place an invisible collider inside the tree if you want it to appear that they do. Now let's use the update method to make the tree rotate constantly. First we'll need to define the tree as a global variable. Now when we load our level, the tree is constantly rotating. In addition to the levels update method, each object also has its own update method. We can use this to make the tree rotate too. Again, the tree is rotating. Another important aspect of the engine is 2D objects, which can be used for health bars or a cursor or whatever else. So I'll show you how to create a 2D object and place it on the screen. First create an instance of ASCII image. And the constructor uses a string array, which will be your image. Use image.align center to place it in the middle of the screen. And image.transparent equals false so that the space doesn't appear transparent. And now the 2D image is in the middle of the screen. That's going to do it for this video. Obviously, there's a lot more to this API that I may cover in later videos or document by some other means, but now you at least know how to get started.